everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bio6 Garage Lab. In today's Garage Lab, we're going to be looking at the identification of organic macromolecules in food. Specifically, we are going to be taking a look at the macromolecular composition of potatoes, apples, onions, milk, peanut butter, and three unknowns that I bought at the grocery store. Now the tests that we're going to do are going to be the BRA test for proteins, a Benedict's test, which tests for reducing sugars, and an iodine test, which tests for starch. We're also going to do a pretty quick and easy lab, a pretty quick and easy assay that will allow you to determine if there are fats within the food you are assaying. So a really important part of any experiment that you do is being able to figure out what a negative result looks like and what a positive result looks like. This is why well-designed experiments have both negative and positive controls. So for this laboratory, we're gonna be utilizing water as a negative control. And for positive controls, we're gonna be using things like 5% glucose, 5% sucrose, 1% cornstarch, liquid egg whites, and extra virgin olive oil. Actually, it doesn't matter the oil, oil is oil. So for things like your Benedict's test for reducing sugars, glucose and sucrose might function as our positive controls. For the iodine test, which tests for starch, our positive control would be 1% cornstarch. The BRA test, which tests for proteins, we would use that 100% liquid egg whites as our positive control. For our fat assay, the extra virgin olive oil would function as our positive control. And again, it doesn't matter that it's extra virgin olive oil, any oil will do. For each of these assays we're about to do, water is going to serve as our negative control. Now again, a negative control is gonna show you what the assay looks like when it doesn't work. Positive controls are gonna show you what the assay looks like when it does work. So one of the things we have to do in this experiment is we have to create juices of our foods. Uh, this, in the olden days, would have meant that we would have had to take our potatoes and apples and onions and things like that and grind it up in a mortar and pestle. But it's modern society now, so I simply used a magic bullet. So here we have some potato juice, apple juice, onion juice, we've got our milk, I've taken some peanut butter and mixed that up with some water to make a little peanut smoothie, and then we have our unknowns one, two, and three. We are gonna take each of these and we are going to subject them to the BRA test, the Benedict's test, the iodine test for starch, and finally, we're going to subject it also to our fat test. 